Boys of Summer is an award-winning documentary series and a true story of a man and his father who is afflicted by Parkinson's disease. That's right. Back in 2004, the pair road tripped 20,000 miles in two months to see a baseball game in every major league stadium together. And now this Saturday, the follow-up Boys of Summer second base will be screened. Here's a peek. One of the most encouraging things we heard during our journey was how many experts thought Parkinson's was curable in as soon as 10 years. As of today, there's still no cure, but there is baseball and hope and faith and a new generation that needs to carry the torch forward. Because as it turns out, going to all 30 stadiums was just first base. Really cool and here to share a story of baseball, hope and faith. The son from that very story, Robert Cochran is here. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you guys? This great. is awesome. This is what every father and son really dream of doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very few of them actually do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got a chance to do it. Tell us uh, uh, about the story behind the series, how it all got started with the first film. So the first film started out with dad and I had hoped we would go to the parks back in like 1990, 91. We mm -hmm. said we're going to do a couple at a time. Mm -hmm. That looked good. And then, you know, life gets busy. I graduated college, dad retires. We say, we'll get back to it when we can. Dad gets diagnosed with Parkinson's mm -hmm. 10 years later, and all of a sudden, wow, now life's a lot more immediate. So, yeah. you know, we're thinking, when can we do this? I rewatch Field of Dreams, and that <laughs> says everything. <That'll> do it. <laughs> I bawled my eyes out, called dad, me and my wife, Anna Maria, call mom and dad uh, from the top of the Rio one night. We said, we got this great idea. We're going to do this. And it's really quiet, and they're sitting there like, how? Yeah. yeah. So we started on that journey. In 2004, we did it. And, and that's great. That's the first part. And a lot of people still come up to me today and talk about that because the movie came out in 2006 like, wow, this movie was so great. But it's at the end of the story. We hoped it would be. Yeah. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a cure for Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. So that's why we did Second Base, and that's what we're on to now. So that's going to be the movie we're showing on Saturday night at the Lou Rubel Clinic. Uh, friends right. of yours as well, great Absolutely. people over there. And uh, we're going to have this awesome screening where people are welcome to come out, and we're going to have a lot of fun there. There's going to be a lot of uh, the, the fun inflatables for the kids, great food and drink. It's free. Oh, nice. And uh, just RS got RSVP, let them know you're coming. Of course. But this is a big community event. We want people to come out because in the Parkinson's community in particular, isolation is one of the real killers. Yeah. Yeah. People just, you know, they're either ashamed or they are depressed. Right. And we need people to come out and have fun. We need mm -hmm. to say, this is something we can celebrate. Get out, get active. And that's part of what we're doing. It's a vicious cycle if you don't, you know, if you don't have a support system right. around you that kind of gets you out there and... And, and to live life, absolutely, mm -hmm. which is yeah. just why this is so phenomenal. It really uh, is. Uh, this, this is second base. I'm hoping, I think we're all hoping, if third, third base should be like a happy right. ending. I don't <laughs> want to get to <laughs> Well, now there's yeah. going to be five films in total. Five? So, yes. Where's the wow. Short stop, short stop. You oh, missed okay. a position. The pickle. I, Call it the pickle. Exactly. <laughs> Cotton there, we yeah. got to go back and forth. In fact, that's what we're working on right now is short stop. And okay. I got to bring, uh, the kids are getting older now, which is great. They come in in second base, so dad gets to be a grandfather. But now uh, we've taken my son to Dodger Stadium and to Petco last year awesome. and hoping to bring my, my daughter out to a couple of the uh, Texas ballparks. And we're going to really, in shortstop, be bringing the communities together. We're going to be saying, what are you guys doing in your communities at work? Here's what we're doing in ours. And basically mm -hmm. trying to link up the best of Parkinson's resources and bring them forward so that we can live our best lives, all that's of us. Because that, the care partners really, that's what the second film became about that I didn't even expect. And people told me, they said, oh, you're really a care partner. You're telling people how to do this. And I yeah. said, mm -hmm. I didn't expect that. But that's such a need. People know how, they need to know how to live well yeah. right. uh, in this difficult situation. And there's the emotional, financial, and you know, medical, all the access. So that's really what we're working on. No doubt. Yeah, Absolutely. hopefully in a fun it's way. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, your your, your uh, Boys of Summer is also part of a new community uh, website called uh, Parkinson's mm -hmm. Place. Tell us talk about Yeah, that's this. right. Parkinson's Place Las Vegas is uh, the brand new website, and it's going to be up uh, sometime this month. We should be ready to go. It is a nonprofit, and we're working toward basically bringing the best of this community together. So that's all sorts of things, including something, Mindy, you'd like. Uh, there's an improv group that we're oh, doing. Yeah. Nice. So as a, as a fellow theater buff, uh, mm -hmm. we get together, and we work on the emotional and communication aspects. And we're doing that right now at the Cleveland Clinic. There's a, that we're doing that there. But we're also, I mean, all of the activity things that uh, people do in Parkinson's, which includes Rocksteady Boxing, great organization out in Green Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, Motivation, a friend of mine, she also does some boxing. My friends at UNLV, I'm doing a, a telehealth study. We're trying to get people wow. involved so if they can't get to the doctor, we can get them a laptop and they can study how to do 
uh, all the, the research and the things that they need to do. Um, there's a group Cycle Bar mm -hmm. in town. Gregorio, guy over there, they're going to be doing a massive fundraiser because cycling, forced exercise, has been proven to have a very positive effect wow. on Parkinson's. Wow. And it, you have to do it at a, a certain level over a certain period of time, but that's the awareness people need, and that's why exercise means so much. Obviously, everybody needs it, but of in course. Parkinson's in particular, it improves uh, effects dramatically. Run out of time, five yeah. seconds. Sure. The, you've been to all of them. Best hot dog. Best hot dog. Well, my son says it's Dodger Dogs for sure. Dodger Dogs are pretty yeah. good. Yeah, he's, he's the guy. I, and I'm, I'm from Boston. Dodger Dogs the actually beat Fenway Frank. They beat by one. They do. Oh, they do. They're very good. There you go. It's great having you, buddy. Hey, thanks so much. Really, it's a great film. you got to check it out. Attend mm -hmm. Boys of Summer. So I can base uh, the film screening is Saturday, excuse me, at Lou Rubo, uh, Lou Rubo's Keep Memory Alive Event Center. That sequel, Second Base, uh, the event is from 5 until 8 and includes a Q&A after the film as well. It's free, but you must RSVP on their website, bosmovie.com.